Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today we're going to have some fun here on location at Kuhnert's Dairy Farm. Kuhnert's Dairy Farm? A cow farm? Just in time for the fall festival. Fall festival? With all kinds of fall fun, food, and festivities. Cool! And plenty of milk. Milk? This is a dairy farm, you know. Oh yeah, I forgot. I say we check everything out and milk this place for all it's worth. Oh, brother. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant, Sadie. Hello. And we're here today just outside of Fort Wayne at Kuhnert's Dairy Farm, home of the Khurst Holstein. Khurst Holstein? Is that like a Kardashian? Uh, no, it's a cow. Oh. This sixth generation dairy farm was established way back in the 1890s. They currently have over 300 registered Holsteins in the herd, and a Holstein is a cow that can produce over 2,000 gallons of milk in a year. Holy cow, that's a lot of milk! This state-of-the-art dairy farm uses the latest in technology to produce quality milk while taking care of their cows at the same time. And they have a pretty good fall festival, too. Can we check out the activities? All in good time. First, let's cover today's subject. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit? Oh, I get it. Since Halloween is coming up, we want to talk about ghosts and stuff. Uh, no, that's not even it at all. I want to talk about the Holy Spirit because it goes right along with today's verse, which comes from Ephesians 1.3, where it says, And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. What does that mean? Well, it means when you first heard about Jesus and asked him into your life, he now lives inside of you and wants to continue to grow you into something special. Wait, let me get this straight. Since I've asked Jesus into my life, the Holy Spirit lives inside me? Exactly. Freaky. Actually pretty amazing. We're talking about the Holy Ghost, not some scary ghost. And he actually wants to change you into something better. Something better? What do you mean? Well, let me demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson I like to call Chalk One Up for the Holy Spirit. All we're going to need is some chocolate syrup, a glass of milk, and a spoon. Let's pretend that this chocolate syrup is the Holy Spirit, and this glass of milk is you, and you just asked Jesus into your heart. Once you've asked Jesus to be in your heart, this verse tells us that you now have the Holy Spirit inside of you. So let's pour him inside of you like this. The Holy Spirit is in there, but you can't really see him because he's settled at the bottom. And nothing really looks different. But if you interact with the Spirit, or in this case, the chocolate, it can transform your life and turn you into something completely different. Let's find out with this spoon. See? The Holy Spirit has now changed you into something even better. Chocolate milk? Cool. And it tastes delicious. Ah. Can I have some too? Maybe later. Let's check out the fall fun first before it gets too late. I still have one more example I want to show you. Good point. Let's do it.
show you how it's done. All we have left is the corn maze. Sounds like fun. Oh, it is. It's also the second part of our lesson. We already learned that the Holy Spirit can change us. Like chocolate milk. Right. And he also wants to guide us. What do you mean? Well, we're about to enter the five acre corn maze. Great. But how do we know which way to go? Great question. I guess we'll just have to figure it out. In fact, why don't we have a little contest, see who can do it the fastest. I'm always up for a contest. When it gets chocolate milk? Deal. You go first, I'll give you a three minute head start. Go! Mom, I'm lost. Whoa. Hey, stranger. What the? How did you beat me? Well, let's just put it this way. Remember when I said that the Holy Spirit wants to guide you? Yeah. Well, the Holy Spirit is like having a road map for your life, or in this case, a corn maze map. Wait a minute, that's cheating. It's all in fun, just to teach a lesson. You do understand, don't you? Yeah, yeah, Holy Spirit's just like a road map. Got it. Now, when do I get my chocolate milk? No problem. Following the Holy Spirit is a beautiful thing. So, Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that when you ask Jesus into your heart, the Holy Spirit lives inside you, and He wants to change you into something better. Exactly. And He wants to lead you like a road map to help you find your way in life, if you're willing to listen. Very good. Now, what do you say we get you some chocolate milk? No problem, Dad. I already have a bottle of regular milk. Now all I have to do is add some chocolate. And now all you have to do is shake it up real well, like this. And now you're good to go. Wait a minute, it's empty. Oops, sorry dad. I guess I forgot to put the lid back on. Oh well, no sense crying over spilled milk. Yeah, we'll see you around. Mm.